Now we're going to do the variable income statement for 2019 on worksheet one. Okay, so um, in 2018, we recalculated everything, but for 2019, I'm gonna show you a lot of the things between variable and absorption are the same. Really the only thing that's different is how we treat our fixed overhead. So instead of recalculating everything, I can just copy over from my absorption for my sales and my materials, direct labor, variable overhead. That's going to be exactly the same. My variable SNA costs are going to be the same. I'm just going to put them somewhere different. So then I add up all my variable costs, making sure not to include sales in that. My contribution margin is going to be my sales minus my variable costs of 1.7 million. So I have a contribution margin of 2,550,000. Now my fixed overhead, I'm going to include in its entirety. So the entire 800,000. So this will be different. And then my fixed SNA will be the same as it was on absorption. So really the only thing that's different is the fixed overhead. So on variable, it's 800,000. For fixed, it was only 680,000 because we sold less than we produced, which is why it's less in absorption and more in variable. So our net income will be our contribution margin minus our, uh, our fixed costs, so our fixed overhead, and minus our fixed SNA. Okay, that's gonna be that again. Okay, so our net income under variable costing for 2019 will be 1,450,000. All right, in the next video, we will do 2020 and then we'll show you kind of some of the differences based on um, if we sell more than we make or make more than we sell. All right, I'll see you then.